All right, everyone. So, um, I cleaned up my Atari 5200. I decided to just take the whole console apart and clean it. I have a separate video on that. But, uh, from my update video, I told you that I received some Atari 5200 controllers in the mail. Three of them have um, for it. And I jokingly said, you know, uh, one of them has the Mexico stamp. Another one has the U.S. And I have, I have a third one in here. I'm going to assume it's the U.S., but there's no U.S. stamp on it. But it does have the same number. The 114 as the U.S. one. So I don't know if it's just like a mess, uh, glitch or something. But... I'm going to test these out and see if they work. I did not take them apart or clean it or anything at all. The way I received it is how I'm going to test them out. Um, hopefully, I want to at least get two of them working, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, but I do have a couple of games here. So what would be a good one? I'll do a super breakout. So, oh, and by the way, uh, I did clean the cartridge port in there, so everything should be going good. So, um, let's try the first one uh, with the Mexico stamp on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And something I've learned pretty quickly uh, to properly connect this up uh, because the 5200 version I have is the original four port version is to connect everything up then plug the power to the wall. Don't do a reverse because that's how you get the spark. So that's just a little tip for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And look, so, um, well, I actually thought the uh, controller, the cores were a little bit longer. Let me uh, adjust the angle real quick. All right, so this is the Mexico version, so let's, Um, okay, uh, the one from Mexico doesn't want to do anything. I'm going to unplug that. And the next one is going to be the uh, USA stamp on it. Actually went a, a little bit smoother but uh, here it is let's start oh look at that holy crap this thing is so sensitive holy crap this control is terrible <sighs> oh my god Look, look, look how sensitive this is. Oh, wow. I mean, it, it is working. Just not. Oh, geez. There we go. Okay, I can I can't even get all the way to the other side. So um, let's try the third one. Oh, 
Just going to reset the game. It is nice that they do throw the reset button on the controller itself. Um, Try this one. Okay. It seems like only one of them works. Which I'm not really surprised. You know, I'm trying to press the start. It doesn't want to start. Let me try. It's kind of a shame because this one actually feels better than the other one. But yeah, I mean look at look at that. One out of three controllers works. So um yeah. So I guess before I end this video then, um I guess we can try centipede. I'm going to change out the controller. So I'll put the the one with the US stamp on it and turn it on. Yeah, I only have one working controller, kind of. Oh. Well, at least I know the system works, that's for sure. And it seems like everything else is working, so that's a good thing. And I know I have at least one working controller. Um, so I guess before we leave, um, let me throw in Pac-Man. Because I was to miss Pac-Man, but let's see if Pac-Man works better. Probably not. <laughs> Surprisingly, surprisingly, Pac-Man works better. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Oh my god, move! Oh, that was hard. Trying to use it on this thing is hard. Oh shit. Maybe I've spoken too soon on how well this uh, game works with this controller. Yeah. Oh, I got another one, okay. No! This controller is not responsive. Not only that, the worst part about it is you don't have it doesn't have like you know how like how a, a lot of certain uh analog sticks say like the n64 control stick how you can tell there's like little notches in there when you're moving around this doesn't have that so when you when using this for like pac-man it's horrible um and this is an analog stick. You know, this is an analog stick. It's not digital. It's analog. Uh, but, I mean, here's an example. This thing twist. Why couldn't this be used? Why they couldn't incorporate that for, like, driving games, for example? But, speaking of driving games, let's... I'm going to play pole position one more time. I don't, I don't remember if I actually did it in this video. But, because this is probably going to be one of the very few Atari 5200 videos I do on this channel. Why not take advantage right now? Because, let's just be honest, I don't have another way of recording this, at least as of right now, besides just pointing the camera at the TV. Which, not that fun of. Come on, let's start. There we go. At least this controller works all right with pole position. Now, am I going to leave this Atari 5200 plugged in all the time? Hell no. Uh-uh. Don't want to risk a fire here. At least the power supply isn't warm, so that's a good thing. I guess we can go one more. I'll do one more race, 
for you guys and then I'll call it because let's just be honest how often am I going to play the 5200 Wee! Look at that. I can tell this button doesn't always want to work. Because I kind of have to like fudge it around to keep it responsive. So even the even the controller that kind of works actually needs some cleaning too. But oh, but console works so far. The games I have works for it. Uh, nothing seems to be blowing up yet. So that's good. Um, I'm I'm going to call it now, but yeah, only the one with the USA stamp on it works. So maybe that should say something to people out there about American-made stuff. Anyway, all right, that's that's getting dumb. Anyway, that's it. Like always, leave those comments down below. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand anymore. Ugh. Leave those comments down below, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber because that's always helpful for me. And like always, have a good one.